under house arrest for another year. The international community has been quick to condemn the decision and there are calls for the Australian government to rethink its diplomatic ties with Burma. It's a decision that's outraged the international community but surprised no one. Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi will spend another year under house arrest on the order of Burma's military regime. The announcement has been swiftly condemned by the United States, the European Union and the United Nations. The sooner restrictions are done home, thanks to Kyi, and all the political figures are lifted, the sooner Myanmar will be able to move forward. The 61-year-old has spent 11 of the last 18 years under house arrest, with the most recent period of detention due to expire tomorrow. The news comes a day after protesters in the Philippines gathered outside the Asian Regional Forum calling for Ms Suu Kyi's release. In Sydney, a small gathering marked the 17th anniversary of the 1990 Burmese elections, which saw Ms Suu Kyi's National League of Democracy party win a landslide victory, a result that was annulled by the army. Protesters here urged the federal government to apply more pressure on Burma, a message echoed by a former dissident. The international community, including Australian government, should take action against the Wicked Hunter. Before settling in Australia, Dr Cho fled to the Thai Burmese border in 1988 after being threatened with a death penalty for staging a peaceful protest. Dr Cho wants the federal government to abandon its current policy which sees Australia deal with Burma on matters of national interest. 